How easy or how difficult is it to move these huge megalithic stones that we find throughout the world in the most ancient of sites with the most rudiment of tools? You know, taking down my stairs here at my house, a lot of concrete, a lot of stone, and I got to thinking, on our channel, we've talked about Peru and the movement of these gigantic stones, and a lot of people really think that with enough manpower and rope, they could do anything. Here's the thing. Most of us don't work around rock. We don't really have an appreciation as far as its density or how much it weighs versus the size or how difficult it becomes to start moving things around <laughs> larger than this. In this video, we're gonna take you on a journey that's gonna start with weighing rocks this big and find out what does it weigh. As we graduate in size, it's going to graduate in weight as well too. And as we move forward, I'll take you back last summer to Sakse Woman to the Temple of the Sun where they had 50 ton stones that I measured. And then maybe we'll have a renewed appreciation as to who, how, and why they could move such seemingly immovable stones. Let's start with this stone right here. How much do you think this weighs? Let's go get the scale and find out. All right, so the size of this rock is about four inches thick by about nine inches wide and about uh, five inches across. What do you think this weighs? Five, 10, 15, 20, two pounds? Let's find out. 9.55 pounds. Let's step it up with something a little bit larger. Okay, this is a paver. It's about eight inches by about 10 inches by about two and a half inches thick. What do you think this weighs? Mm. 13.65, 13.65, hmm. Let's get something bigger. This is when it starts to get a little bit heavy. This is my wife's favorite stone here at the house. All right, we got about 20 inches by about seven inches by about five inches. Let's go weigh it. All right, what do you think this one weighs? Let's take a look. All right, now we're at almost 50 pounds for this. Let's continue. All right, so we ran out of heavy rocks at my house. We're gonna go on the road, we're gonna measure, and then we're gonna calculate the weight of certain rocks. They're gonna get larger and larger, so stick around. All right, so here's the mystery rock, as we call it. We have this at our office. It is 41 inches across, it is eight inches deep, and it is 19 inches across that way. And you add this all up, and we didn't just add it up, we actually weighed it. Came in at, ready, 289, that's right. This came in at 289, and we have to have it on this roller in order to get it around, because it's so heavy. Let's keep moving. All right, going forward, we're gonna have to use a measuring stick and a little bit of math. Uh, these are gonna get too big to weigh, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, just to give you an idea how much rock weighs, imagine a 12 inch cube rock, 12 by 12 by 12 cube. It weighs anywhere between 125 to 175 pounds. Granite is at the 175 pound level. So we're gonna use 150 pounds as a medium as we measure this rock here in back of me and calculate its weight. We'll give you the measurements. We'll give you a second to try to guess what you think it's gonna weigh, and then we'll calculate it and let you know. 14 inches by 50 inches by, what did we say that was? About 22 inches. How much do you think this rock weighs right here? Time to calculate. You guys ready? 1,336 pounds. That's right, this stone right here weighs over a half a ton. And what is it? It's like four feet by two feet by one foot. And I can't move that. I don't know if two or three people could move that. So you can imagine as they get bigger, it becomes even more and more difficult. Still not convinced? All right, let's take a look at one more. This one is pretty large. This is our last and largest rock. I want you to take a good look at it. You 
So how much do you think this one weighs? We saw the other one wasn't really that big, and yet it weighed 1,300 pounds. You think this weighs 2,000 pounds, more, less? Let's find out. So we've got about, about 48 inches in length, about 36 inches wide, about 26 inches in height. Now we're going to calculate. All right, so it's 48 times 28 times 36 divided by 1734 equals, now we'll multiply that by 150, and this is the weight of 4,185 pounds. 4,185. 4185. That's two tons. That's as big as a block of granite that is on uh, in the pyramids. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's try to move it. Well, how heavy can stone really be? Come on. This looks like it could be moved easily. So what did we learn? I think that uh, once you take a look at the size of something, actually touch it, try to push it, see how big rock is for the poundage and the size and everything else, it starts to put a little perspective. That's the reason why every once in a while in the comments section, you get somebody who works rock around rock on a daily basis and they don't do the old, oh, if it, it takes, you can do it with enough men and enough ropes. They don't take that approach. They know how heavy rock is. Look, we don't deny the fact that the Inca built some magnificent steps, roadways, irrigation, terraces, unbelievable. But the megalithic stones are unlike anything else there. And they're throughout the world and they're all old. Here's what we're thinking. That post-flood, hold that thought just for a second, okay? Post-flood, People were still quite large, and that's the reason why we see the legends of giants throughout the world associated with the megaliths. Plus, it just seems like it should be, right? But let's just say, the large people, still big and robust and intelligent, there's where you get your technology. This is not about aliens. This is not about some angel-human hybrids or some Anunnaki, none of that. What it is, it's us, us in a more enhanced, format that was able to do this and the reason why they could is because they could and that's the reason why they did it so as you can see from those 50 ton stones that were moved in Oliante Tambo there just seems almost impossible we can't just like say oh with enough rope and enough men we could move those up there well no it's not that simple in another video that we're going to do, we're going to talk about tensile strength of rope and just exactly how much poundage rope can take before it breaks and what are the logistics of taking a 50-ton stone and how many ropes does it take. Thank you for watching this video. I don't know if we learned anything other than that rock is heavy. We'll see you in the next video.